What's going on guys? God bless you. Carl's here with Serrano's Mobile Detail here in Dallas, Texas, guys. Welcome <coughs> welcome to another video. This one, <laughs> this was a uh, last minute customer. Um, today is Sunday. Uh, the customer called me and was worried and was needing some help, right? Um, unfortunately, we had ice, we had snow, um, and I'm assuming there was ice or snow on this vehicle. Um, and her niece or nephew, somewhere in that lines, used a metal shovel to, I guess, try to remove the snow or the ice. You know, they were trying to be nice to their aunt. Um, <coughs> so, long story short, the shovel created a lot of scratches. Some of them are deep. Some of them I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix um, but they brought it to me in hopes of getting this hood at least a little bit better, maybe less noticeable, <coughs> maybe lessening the uh, spankings on the kids, right? <laughs> no, but we're definitely going to try and, and see if we can fix this. Um, this is a really tough scenario. I've already kind of assessed the situation. It's going to be tough. There's some big, there's a big gash over here. Um, I don't know what this is. So there's a lot of stuff I, I don't know what they did, but uh, let me get all set up. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I'm going to be using, and we're going to get started and see if we can get this hood looking a little bit better. Okay, so after pretty much assessing the situation, this is going to be a two-step project. Uh, step number one, we're going to be using Coach Kemi uh, H9, their heavy cut, um, to really get into the deep scratches. And we're going to use the Max Shine uh m1000 and this one is their pro so this is their uh rotary uh so for this scenario i want to create a lot of heat I, as much as i can um to really remove a lot of these deep scratches that were created and then we are going to come back and we're going to finesse the paint with the adams swirl killer pro which is this one right here and we're going to be using a lake country uh, medium cup pad, the HDO paired with a uh, Coach Kemi F6. Um, and then I'm probably um, going to coat just this top just to be safe. Um, <coughs> but if not, um, obviously they didn't pay for a coating, um, but I, I may coat it just for the fun of it. Um, other than that, if not, after I do my heavy cutting, I will probably come back uh, if I decide not to coat it. I will come back with um, P601, their, um, their one step. Um, and then I'm just gonna, you know, take it nice and slow, finesse the paint really nicely. And, you know, the sealant will give it at least a good eight months of protection. So let's get started. Hopefully you guys can see, but there is a huge improvement already in this section, guys. Um, right now, out the weather, inside in here we're probably around like 40 degrees so it's not hot this panel is really cool to the touch actually so which is good um when using a rotary you don't want to create a lot of heat um, because creating too much heat could potentially burn through the clear burn through the paint and then you're gonna have a nice little white patch um but so far it's looking really good so we're gonna continue doing this whole hood uh and then obviously we'll come back and do the uh the second step actually very impressed with Toyota paint on this one to be honest um, I've already buffed right here look at that 6.34 6.48 7.47 so the readings are high 6.04 6.2 6.3, 6, right here where the main scratches are right here, we have a 6.4, 6.27, 5.7, so it's a little bit everywhere, but we have enough space where we can do a very nice two-step correction and really uh, not diminish a lot of the clear, so good job Toyota on this paint. All right, so I had to kind of stop and reevaluate everything. And right now what I am doing is I'm really ended up wet sanding these deeper um, scratches. 
So I usually tend to do it by hand, guys. I do have the block, but I don't know. I guess I got so used to doing it by hand. And right now, <coughs> what I'm doing is this is uh, 2000 grit to get the majority of the of that scratch. And then I'm coming back with 2500 grit and smoothing it out. That should be good. We'll wipe it off and we'll redo that step. Unfortunately, this shovel got it pretty good guys the shovel got it pretty good so I, I don't know how to explain it but sometimes you have to kind of like reverse it and really the only way to do that is coming back and doing a light wet sand with the 2500 you're not really damaging much um, since I started on the higher grade, instead of doing like 1500 to really get into the clear, I started from 2000 and then all I'm doing is just giving it a nice, just nice uh, cross motion and I'm really only going to do wet sand or spot sand as some call it in those major areas um, just so that this can at least get a nice color we should be okay I just really just want to try to blend in as much as I can these damages from this hood and we should be okay right here there was a big gash on this one that even though I buffed it that scratch was right there so now we have a nice smooth, we have a smooth um, sand and that should do pretty good. So we're going to continue this and hopefully get some nice. All right, so we are literally to our last stage. Uh, so before I do my last step, which I'm gonna be using a P601 by Coach Kemi guys, which looks like this. This is their one cut and finish. Uh, this one is my last step. I was gonna coat it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this sealant to it. Um, and this should be Pretty good, should give them eight months at least <coughs> of protection, six months if they don't maintain it. Um, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we're using the Adams Swirl Killer um, M15 uh, millimeter Pro. 
uh, with again with the Lake Country HDO pad um, with the Coach Kemi pairing this up. Uh, right here, I did a just a light spot center right here, which is uh, 2500. And I'm going to come back with the P601. On this area here, I'm just going to go nice and slow and it'll blend it all into the paint. Overall, we really reach the goal of what we were going after is just to make the hood look better. I went and sanded some areas because it just with the <coughs> with the buffer alone, with the rotary, you know, it was cleaning it up, but it was just bothering my eyes looking at it. So I went ahead and sanded those areas. Um, customer was fine with that. And we're literally to the last step. We're just going to take this. This step is usually the one I take nice and slow to really get the most uh, cut into the clear. Uh, but as well, give me <laughs> give me a nice finish. P601 is really good. Uh, the cut is around a six, uh, but it gives you the gloss. And that's really what I want is the gloss on this hood. Uh, so let's get to the finish line. Alrighty, so <laughs> we finalized this project guys this hood is finally done guys overall um it gave me just some minor issues on the hood um obviously the the route i was taking was just going to be a two-step paint correction um and a sealant of course um but after really digging more it, i was just not liking the way that the paint was looking um, well the scratches like even though I use the rotary I could still see the fine scratches on there so I ended up wet sanding some of the deeper scratches um, to remove as much as I could at least to try to get it blended in as much as I can <coughs> at the end of the day our job is to um, fix the issue to the best of our abilities as well as the best of the clears integrity right I didn't want to get too deep into the clear because this paint is in really great numbers. Um, I think I showed you guys the readings. Um, so I really didn't want to deteriorate that as well. So uh, I only did spot setting in some areas where the bigger gashes of were to try to blend it in nicely. And overall, it came out really well from how it looked to how it looks right now. I'd say this job, we hit um, every area of the customer's concerns and requests. So I'm excited about this one. I can't wait to uh, return it back tomorrow. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope this video kind of helped you guys out. Um, in the winter here in Dallas, <laughs> I get many calls like this, like, hey, uh, my kids, you know, did something like this. Are you able to fix it? Of course, we can fix it to a certain extent, right? We're not going to make this look brand new, right? Um, somebody has said, take it to a body shop. Car is brand new. Customers don't really want to pay the deductible, right? So if we're able to at, <coughs> at least um, diminish the the look of it, um, they're okay with that. And in a customer's eyes, I'd say this is pretty good. They're, they should be ecstatic when they see this um, because she was really worried. Um, but I'm happy that I was able to at least help her out, save her that deductible at least a little bit um and take care of it right at the end of the day that's my goal is to make sure we um we nail uh, the customer's needs right um, we exceed their expectations and i think i did it with this hood right here so again we used um 2000 uh sandpaper we went up to 2500 and then finished it off with 3000 to finesse those uh, wet sandings and then we came back with a uh, rotary tool using the Lake Country wool pad, the purple one. And then we finished it off with the, um, we use uh, Coach Kemi H9 for the heavy cut, followed by uh, Lake Country's um, orange <coughs> HDO pad with um, P601, both from the Coach Kemi product line, which is the only thing I use, guys. And it does the job nicely, guys. So tomorrow morning, I'll probably wake up, give it a nice wash before I return it. But other than that, I hope you guys have a blessed day, be safe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.